Back over here. Oh, pounce. Absolutely fine with the lights in the tree. We're going to make some contact here. We're going to have to do trees, I think. Pull back from this tree. Hello, hello my good students. Welcome back to Napoleon Total War. This is a new series we're starting today. Um, we are going to be starting another Darth Mod campaign and we're going to be playing as the Kingdom of Prussia. We are going to be playing on hard and hard battle difficulty and just go over the options quickly. Nothing on there. Historical victory. So what is the aim of this playthrough? Well, we are going to uh, build up an economic base and then we are going to perform a revolution to become a republic so we can unite Germany and then spread this revolution throughout Europe. This is um, of course a historical. Um, Prussia very classically seen as the neutral nation during the Napoleonic Wars however that's not entirely true. They were very much against the French Revolution and very much against Napoleon himself when he became first consul and then later on emperor. Um, however, it was did come down to the fact that they waited just a little too long to act in Napoleon's 1805 campaign. Um, many people believe, and so do I believe, that uh, if the Prussians had acted um, from the get-go on Napoleon's 1805 campaign, Napoleon would not have been able to uh, wipe the floor with Europe um, as he so did. Um, because he would have had to fight from too many fronts, of course. Now, um, what we're going to do is make a republic, and we're going to try and set up uh, a lot of puppet states, satellite states, as uh, with the will of the French Revolution was to do, is to spread uh, revolution throughout the uh, European theatre. So how are we going to do that? Well, like I said, we're going to build up an economic base by uh, using our bonuses from the absolute monarchy that we start with. We're going to tax the nobility quite high, build up our infrastructure and farmland, and even try and ally ourselves a little harder with Napoleon rather than the classic coalition forces of Austria and Russia, and of course, Britain. So let's get going and see what we can do to start with. So, we have the uh, mission issued, uh, Reformation of the Army, construct a drill school. And the drill school is not the second tier of barracks, it is in fact the third. If we go to our research tree here, we can see it is number three here, as I'm sure many of you are aware. We do have access to some very useful tier two military technologies to begin with. We have logistics, which is a personal favorite of mine, and we have army corps organization. Um, for minus 5% upkeep costs. However, we're going to start with national debt and that is because we get minus 5% upkeep costs to our armies from the get-go there and it's a very nice base of uh, turn or wealth per turn to every region there. Minor, but it will build up. We have uh, George Friedrich Hegel over here um, who has a bonus for civil technologies by three. So that's going to cut our research time down from eight turns to five turns. We also have a fairly good standing army as Prussia, but uh, we're going to work through that as we work through uh, increasing our infrastructure. Here, We're going to build our roads, we're going to build up our farms. Um, if you ask me, this is exactly what you need to do to uh, get a good start to any Napoleon and even Empire Total War campaign is get your roads and farms going. And the same goes for Shogun 2 as well, and I think we will play a little bit of Shogun in the future, of course. So we have roads going, we have farms going. Uh, what else is there? We can't afford this last farm, but what we can do is I think we can certainly afford to uh, create this market over here. We have ignored our isolated territory in Cleves over here, and I'm not going to be too bothered about um, uh, Cleves over here to be honest so what we're going to do is uh, look at our happiness that's absolutely fine without the army so we are just going to disband that because we don't need it there for the repression and the policing our happiness is absolutely fine there at the moment we're not going to upgrade the uh, roads just yet we are expecting to lose uh, Cleves in the early game and that's absolutely fine uh, we can absolutely um, lose that in the beginning. We're going to try and centralise and build a good core for this campaign. We're going to use our neutral status to begin with to help us uh, isolate a little bit to begin with then explode out into Europe by force. Our income isn't the greatest at the moment at four and a half thousand but we are as stated an absolute monarchy. 
Um, we do have some fairly decent ministers here, actually, with the Navy in particular, but we don't actually start with the Navy, so that's uh, pretty much useless. Um, but uh, I was, uh, I'm reading that wrong. That is the Army. We have a fairly uh, mediocre naval minister. But so, yeah, for our army, that is absolutely brilliant then because we get 10% uh, recruitment cost reduction, 8% land, military technology research rate, which is very, very nice indeed, and 7% uh, upkeep reduction as well, which is excellent. Treasurer, very nice indeed as well, helping our taxes and growth. And our uh, head of state over here, the foreign minister, could be better, could be better. But we get him. The bottom line here is that uh, with an absolute monarchy, your nobility doesn't mind being taxed quite so much. So we're going to increase that, and that is going to propel us to 5.9 thousand income from there. We're going to consolidate our armies over here. We've got a garrison in Potsdam. And we're going to decide what we want to keep over here. Because we do have a fairly nice standing army. Um, that will bring us to, if we bring out our general here... Bring us to a good 18 units, but it's not the best. I would rely a little less on the cannons, and for my personal taste, bring in a few more units of line infantry. Saxony is going to be a target of ours, and we want to hit that as early as possible, and we could hit that now. But, like I said, I want to try really um, and rely a little more on some line infantry. We can't afford any at the moment. We'll probably get some over the next turn. Uh, but that's not to worry at all. Let's look at the rest of our standing army. We have some land there over here and some cannons. We're going to remove those. We're going to keep the Slayers and Schützen because they are limited to a number of two. Um, and we can't actually recruit those at all just yet. So we're going to completely remove this army over here. It's not needed. And we have General Blücher over here. Gebhard von Blücher, the uh, hero of Waterloo for the Prussians. It gets uh, plus three to command when attacking, plus three to command when leading cavalry, and increases their campaign movement range. With minus one to morale battles, which is not great at all. We also have favourite charge for more command when leading cavalry, but it's that morale that's nasty, uh, because that has reduced us down to five morale for our standard line infantry there, and that is not good at all. Going to keep um, this, these units about though, and we're going to pick up our units in Danzig. Move the land there, and we're going to bring Blücher slowly over to Berlin so we can build up a second army um, as quickly as possible there. It's very, very nice indeed that you can do that as the Prussians. So that's everything we have. We don't have any fleets, we've got all the regions. We have a spy which we've moved down towards Austria. That's pretty much uh, all we can do on the first term, turn, aside from sort out our trade. Now, this is how you ally yourself with France. You, of course, start off with a trade agreement there. They won't, unfortunately, up accept that just yet, interestingly enough. That's very, very interesting. That's coming down to chance then, because in my practice runs, and in pretty much all of my private playthroughs, they uh, accept that quite readily. Maybe we need to sweeten the deal there. If we give them far in advance, how about that? I have said yes, not to worry there. Um, Going to try and stay on the good terms with England and Britain because they do have some good trade power for us to take advantage of, as was historically accurate there. Um, we're going to keep friendly with Austria at the moment and trade with them. And that should propel our income quite nicely there. We've gone from 4,500-ish to 9.2 thousand uh, in one turn, which is absolutely brilliant. But that is pretty much all we can do for this turn. Next turn, I think we will upgrade to a barracks um, and recruit a few more units. So let's get going on at the lights. Alrighty, so we have the Confederation of the Rhine and a mission to ally with Russia. We're not going to do that because we do plan on going to war with them later, and I don't want to take the diplomatic hit from that. I think we're going to have to, of course, spend a lot of money on upgrading our single university here. That is going to reduce our um, lower order happiness due to clamour for reform, but that's not a bother at all just yet. We're going to upgrade our barracks as well. Cruise a couple units of line infantry. How many can we fit in here? Uh, we can fit a few. That's uh, saying we can buy some extras actually let's say we can get some swiss grenadiers and black brunswickers where was that could we, where could we get those from is it kernigsberg or warsaw 
can certainly go for things in war, so that's interesting. Very, very interesting indeed. We're going to have to certainly look after that then. We do need to make sure we get this farmland going. Hmm. Get this logging camp going as well, because that will help uh, reduce our construction costs later on. So I think we will ignore that for now and wait for that to go through. And I think we're going to construct a tax office in Breslau. Get that going. Um, how many more units do you want to recruit here? Get one, two, three. Uh, we'll go for four units here. That would be very nice indeed. We can take out two units of cannons because uh, four, for me, is a little bit of overkill. It's not necessarily a bad thing in itself, but it's not exactly how I like to play, unfortunately. I do uh, prefer to go without cannons where possible. Um, they don't quite get the damage in this I'm looking for. Going to, of course, move uh, Bluka over as quickly as possible as well. Get him out of the snow attrition. And once again, that's it. We're going to uh, just move over to the next turn already and see what we can do with uh, our army there. Okay, so what do we have at the end of this turn? We have Ottomans and Austria are at war. Okay, interesting. And of course, we have our units recruited in uh, Berlin. Let's try and infiltrate Austria here in Vienna. Not happening, not to worry. Um, we do have a fairly decent army here with uh, Ferd um, Ferdinand von Ersteichester. Um, what we're going to do then is try and go for uh, Saxony, I think. The problem there with Saxony is that they are allied with Austria to begin with. And that's going to open us up a little bit. But uh, we do have a fairly decent army here, if you ask me. And of course we have Blücher coming in as well. We're going to put some in Stettin for now. And what we're going to do with the rest of our money is, I think... Go for this Ordnance Foundry, so we can get some uh, more six-pounder horse artillery. We might even try and boost up everything elsewhere, actually. I'm going to try and boost up Königsberg, get this manufactory going, and we'll get this market going, because that's very, very useful indeed. And we're going to get this theatre here, and the magistrates here to help with our tax and happiness uh, through both of those. Uh, we're going to wait again to upgrade our Warsaw because we have two turns of its logging camp and that's uh, money saved in the long run there. We can afford to get this manufacturing over here and we're going to upgrade, I think, our roads. We didn't manage to do that previously. And it would be better to actually get a gunsmith over here for the recruitment cost. Um, this is more for artillery. Uh, we don't get any money out of uh, getting a gunsmith though, so I think that's what we're going to go for. And we're going to upgrade the barracks here, so we have an extra uh, forward base there to recruit from. Hmm. So let's double check what we can do with Saxony, because Austria is allied with them, so is Hesse Kessel. Uh, but they shouldn't be too much of a problem. They might go for Cleves, but we're expecting to lose that anyway, which is why we're ignoring it. Um, I'm going to save a little bit of money here. I'm not going to upgrade anything else just yet. Uh, what is our income? It's 8.5. We might even just use the rest of our money to build up Blucher's force here. So we do have two full standing armies as quickly as possible. So we have four units of uh, light infantry, five units in fact. And that's a little bit of overkill. I don't need more than four at all. So we're just going to garrison in this farm over here. Um, and we're going to just guess out some more line infantry here. As much as we can get in for one turn. That's just four units. That's absolutely fine. Alrighty, and at the end of that turn, we have another gentleman. What does he do as a trait? He's another civil scholar. Not to worry there, that will help with this technology. Very nice indeed. Have our recruitment done. And we have a market, which is brilliant. That will really help our economy in the long run. So, I think it's time really to go for Dresden over here. We're going to Garrison Blucher in Berlin. Very nice indeed. Very nice standing army already. Having said that though, uh, Friedrich over here is a better general for this army, but I think we want to try and use Blücher in the earlier stages, try and get um, an increased morale bonus there so we can uh, remove this one really or counter this uh, negative on morale there. 
Um, I'm going to try and use uh, Louis Ferdinand points on points and over here uh, to try and get a morale bonus trait as well because so far it's just command and that's not ideal really is it. I'm going to try and pounce on Saxony as quickly as possible though. So let's get going I think. We don't have any allies to help us but that's not to worry. We will go to war with Austria and the electors of Hesse Castle as well. Not much else we can do though, so I think really, how do we compare against them? Six morale to our basic infantry compared to their six as well, and they have eight morale on these uh, units of grenadiers. Have some fairly decent chevaux legers as well as the units of artillery. Uh, but we do have some decent uh, cuirassiers over here and dragoons, which can pretty much uh, stand up to these quite nicely with their melee attack actually being higher. And these can dismount being dragoons as well if need be. But let's get going. Alrighty, so the uh, Kingdom of Saxony is going right for our centre here, which is actually the weakest point. We are trying to get, this to get our cannons uh, firing very nicely indeed. We're going to protect them with a couple units we of have taken the building, sir. over here. We can see we're taking a building. Come back to that, to that in a second. Just double checking we are unlimbering neatly over here so we don't cause any friendly fire with our cannons, and that should be very nice indeed. So, uh, it looks like we're under a fire over here because um, we're under artillery attack. Uh, I wonder if we should pull back a tad under this hill, but it looks like that's not going to make a difference. Um, we're going to try and calm this up a bit of the terrain there, trying to form a decent line there. On our left flank, uh, we're a little messy because we're taking advantage of this uh, building over here, as well as the walls for protection. Going to keep these units, I think, over here in uh, reserve. Have to watch out for our morale over there. We're going to have to make some sorts of move. We're going to make a small hammer with our light infantry over here on their right flank. And they have their single units of cavalry over here. So we're just going to try and face that double time over there. Protect them with a couple units of line infantry here. Double time on that. Just to try and get to them before it gets on top of us, before it's too late. We might try and get some counter battery in. Very nice actually location to counter battery because of this block of enemy units over there. Try and get some musketeers and chevaux lasers. They're only trained units or a handful of their trained units over there. That is a very nice uh, line of fire and sight over this hill, if I may say so myself. Where are our cannons landing though? Be okay for that. Not getting anything just yet, unfortunately. Looks like we are firing over here, though. We're already tired, which is rather a bother. Looks like we're going to be able to make them rout off before they make contact with anyone. Should be alright then. Let's come in range of our line of three as well. Might have to turn to engage that, though, over here. Looks like they're coming up, charging our cannons as well. Let's get some cancer shots going. Let's move in front there. Where are they going? Where are they going? Spending too much time. Far too much time. We've got our cannons here and we are going to route those off very, very nicely indeed. Look at that. It's absolutely brilliant. Lovely cannons of shots going in there. <laughs> How are we doing over here? Looks like they're getting on our flank, so we're going to have to move around and protect our cannons a little better there. We're going to, I think, move up a tad over here, just to force engagement here. Double time that, so I'm sorry guys, I know you're tired. Should be fine to watch out for this cavalry unit over here. It looks like the enemy's going for a charge over here. We're going to have to move up, I think, um, with this unit of reserve. Unfortunately, I think outside of this cover is going to be a bit difficult. Let's take that, it's not going to be too bad at all. And we'll bring around our cavalry to the enemy's flank so we can use that. And I think we're going to have to move up over here as well get a decent firing line there. Our skirmishers should be in range of force. We can see the firing out over here on that balcony. Very, very nice indeed. And this cover is absolutely going to hurt the uh, enemy over here. It's really, really nice defensive guns for us. Excellent to be able to take this garrison as well as the wall protecting us there. But I think the enemy's going for a better charge on there. Not too sure though. That don't want that to happen. Uh, let's get our general over to help out with our morale over here because we will break very, very quickly indeed otherwise. But it looks like we're going to be able to get a decent volley off here. Come on. I hear the enemy cannibals crashing down there. Come on. You are ready. Right in the enemy before they fire us, guys. They're very, very tired. There we go. Look at that. Are we going to get a decent fire by ranking? Yes, we are. 
Grace Lap there. Equal Morales, so this general has to get in as quick as possible and help us out. Just about made the enemy rouse off there. We need to uh, make sure we're back on round shot like cannons. They're not going to have any good impact otherwise, and I think we're going to take this hill over here. You can see that the enemy cavalry has roused off over here. It's in our flank here. If we snap on over. Not to worry, we just need to make a square here. Might have to make a couple. Might have to make a couple. And I think we will, just in case. But are they going to make contact with Yes, they are. But before we can brace them, it take far too long to make that square, unfortunately. There's another use of cavalry coming in here. We're going to have to double time this. And I think we're going to have to bring in this unit as some true front of the line here. Bad idea to uh, cancel that square, I think. Come back over here. Help out. We're absolutely fine with the lights in the tree. We're going to make some contact here. We're going to have to retreat, I think. Pull back to this yeah, I think the going to pull them back here. That is going to be very messy, but it's all the best. And there's a bit of longevity there. And I think we're going to go for cancer shots once again out here. Both units. How are we looking over here? We're going to want to get some new sounds for our own cavalry. So let's bring them all the way around. Uh, bring this unit out, I think. Frank, they're very, very bold position there. It'll work. Bring our general round over here. They've got a square right in front of us. Rather interesting. It looks like they are going for the melee charge down. Very, very limp charge. Not quite going to make it there. The general is very influenced there coming to help us, so our morale should be fairly stable for the time being. How are we doing over here then? I think we just start making it there. We did get out with this uh, unit of light infantry, so what we're going to do is bring that round over to get some decent shots onto the enemy side there. We're going to pass a square and push in, I think, with our line infantry. Pull back the turn with our light. Let's just rest up attack because we are winded. Let them uh, just fall into our line infantry there, I think. You have to keep an eye on that, so keep an eye on this as well. That is really, really horrible. I think it's time for cavalry to get in. This arm system is going to shoot it as it is, unfortunately. We didn't have to keep an eye on that. Run through there and help out our cavalry with a counter charge in the enemy's flank. Could try and snipe down their general and their artillery. They do have another units of uh, Chevaux Legions over there to protect their flank, unfortunately. I think what we do is we run down this unit of arm system before it comes back. Try and get out of this flank. Over there. Might actually have to try and charge down that artillery before it's too late then. We do, is we kind of right to this flank over here. It's on that. And we'll turn around the face over here. How are we doing with these uh, cannon shots? Still reloading. Looks like we have just recently fired with the smoke coming up there. Try and slide down this general, try and get a morale shot going. I think we have to charge into the flanks over there, really, don't we? Try and hold that melee engagement. And I think abandon our cover over here to just try and get some flanking shots going properly onto this enemy formation. I'm going to come in though with this uh, charge. Guessing there. Bit of a slog. Bit of a slog. Encouraged for being on high ground is very nice indeed. There's a come around to the flank here, I think. Well, that's fairly thick lines there. Not to worry. Try and get round. The enemy's cavalry is going to push up, I think, but we're going to have to try and go to these cannons. Fuck! Our general, general is under attack! Make sure he doesn't escape. How are we doing with these dragoons over here? Yeah, making sure they're rousing off. Excellent. Try and get, I think, uh, these musketeers before they form a line, I think. So we're firing out to properly over here onto this unit. Enemy general's dead. Firing off some cancer shots into their backs over here. That is excellent. That is really going to hurt the enemy's morale there. And I think we'd rather go for their cannons now because they're not so useful. We're going to try and go for the centre. Help pass our own infantry there. Double time this, we get a clean shot. 
it's not looking too bad at all. Are they facing towards us? It says they are. It looks like a lot of them will reload. We should be absolutely fine on this charge. A tad tired though. It could be somewhat limp charge. And uh, limp is not a word you want to describe your charge. I'm guessing some units to our flanks here would be rather interested. It must have browsed towards our flanks. We should get some units uh, from this uh, garrison firing out in that direction. Might just want to come out fire steadily there. You can tell from their ammunition they've not actually fired too many shots from that building, which is a shame. Are we firing properly out into this unit? I think we need to uh, go forward to turn. These two units should uh, certainly deal with the citizenry. We're going to move forward to turn to get on their flanks. We have some more... This is not great. This is not great. We have some more people coming back from a flank. How are our cavalry doing there? Absolutely fine, really, aren't they? Bit splits up. Bit splits up. I think we're going to go down for their cannons over here, chase off these units. We should be all nice and dandy for this battle. Just mopping up now. Just mopping up. We are going to support our extra lines and the small skirmish is still happening. I think to stop firing our cannons really because they're not doing too much now. Fire a decent lineup over here. We've lost a lot of people. They've lost a lot of ammunition as well. It has been a very bloody battle. Very, very bloody battle indeed. Hopefully, we can get some chevrons on our units out of it though. Not exactly over just yet. Seems to be a nasty melee over here. That's what the goons over here do. We need to get in to help us, I think. So, uh, this arm system we might decide to fire rather than get into a melee. Have we dismounted the men on the cannons? I don't think we have, so we're going to go in for that. Very, very lucky we have some fairly elite heavy cavalry, these uh, horse guards actually, rather than light cavalry ourselves. Wouldn't be able to do this on our offspring campaign. We're going to count charge over here because they are just some shots off now. We're going to get right in the face over here of these enemies. Haven't lost many men at all in this uh, particular regiment. Glorious victory! It's soon here. to be yours. So it is just the centre, and uh, looks like this unit over here needs to uh, really be put down properly. But another few volleys should deal with that. This one is really, really holding though. I'm not liking that at all. But we are getting rid of it there. These units. Should just be about to fire here. It's like we're reloading. I think what we're going to do is get this unit of cavalry out to deal with these uh, garrison units. Charging in this flank over here. Might want to uh, carry on chasing over here actually with the use of cavalry. Maybe for those uh, chevrolet to come back. And that will be that. Alright, see, so at the end of that battle, was just chasing them down in the end. Um, deployed a couple for one and a half ish thousand more than we did, most because of the large uh, groups of armed citizenry. We did lose 1.3 thousand men though, and that is a hell of a loss at this stage of the game. Uh, we did earn a lot of good sh uh, chevrons here, and this particular unit doesn't need to do a lot of uh, replenishment. Earned four chevrons there, which is absolutely disgusting, putting a lot of work there. Uh, but Saxony is now ours. And uh, we are going to occupy that for ourselves because that's going to be a very nice little money maker and forward base for us, I think. So let's get going and push on that. They're not going to like us at all there, so we are going to have to deal with a um, rebellion there at some point. But that's not to worry. We do have uh, the secondary army in Berlin to deal with that. And we have finally got a plus one to morale in battles with this particular general, so that will go a long way in future battles there. We're going to repair and get our magistrate and opera house up here, as well as upgrade any roads which needs to be done. What else has that got us for minor settlements? That's got us a mine in Leipzig, and we have Airfoot, which is another members club over here, so that will help out with our happiness and amount of spies we can get as well as let us get some more elite infantry later on, which is absolutely brilliant for us there. So, I think that is about all we have time for today, ladies and gentlemen. We have a bass win, we have a good foundation going, and we're getting a very nice second army out over here. How does that affect our incomes? A little bit better over there, which is very, very nice indeed. So, 
think next time we're going to be fighting Rebellion and seeing how it goes against Austria because we have just opened up our doors to Prague over here and I think we will try and make that a puppet state. But thank you very much for watching, looking forward to hearing your comments in the uh, section below and in the meantime I hope all of your nights and days are auspicious. Goodbye.